All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with the Lamborghini Panigale. And if all goes well, it should be in riding form after today. So we're gonna be doing the custom painted brake calipers front and rear, along with another uh, bunch of other bits and bobs. Don't forget you can enter win this bike, patreon.com slash Custom. That's always the first link in the description below. We don't have much time left, so get signed up now. If you wanna be in the drawing for this bad boy, it's gonna be the best, most expensive build we've done and will do probably for a, quite some time. With that said, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. All right, the beautiful Christina K is gracing us with her What's presence. That? No bikinis today, yeah. but she's got the cheetah print. I don't even know what you call that. Crop top belly shirt? Crop belly. Crop top. Crop top. Crop top, yeah. crop top shirt. Short. With the jean it's shorts. Hot day. It's a hot People day. were saying, whoa, it's weird seeing Christina in normal clothing. I'd say 99% of the population doesn't even wear this kind of stuff. Yeah, they do. They do? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I have an outfit just like that. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Um, All right, calipers today. Yeah, so Ooh, our this caliper. is you finally get to see the custom painted calipers. You can start with the back, whatever you want to do. What? No, I don't care. Oh, I thought you were looking for the front. No, I'm grabbing both. Oh, okay. Both of them. All right, so here they so are. One. Again, these were hand painted by David Leitner, our local painter, and this is Lamborghini um, Arancio Borealis Sunset Orange to match the rest of the bike. And this is an actual Lamborghini paint code. So a couple things to note about these, when I put this up on my story on Instagram, a lot of people were saying, you should have filled in the Brembo with blue or with black or with whatever. Um, he actually did try to fill that in. Sorry, it's not focusing here. There it is. He did try to fill it in, but um, he said it was just not working out and he didn't think that it looked good. So he decided, he messaged me and asked me. He's a perfectionist, yeah. so if it's not gonna look almost perfect, right. he said he, doesn't, he wouldn't do it. Yeah, so he, he said tried. you'd be better off putting a sticker in there and I just didn't wanna do that. I think it actually looks really cool as it is. And if you hold it up next to the bike, that's the back. Get this out of the way. It goes like, man, you really aren't making things easy. Look at that. I actually think it looks incredible like that. That's Dado walking upstairs. He's gonna come through the, oh, the ceiling. I, no, you were right. Was I no, right? No, that was it, yeah, that's How it. How does it get, oh, it, it goes. It goes around. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's just no pads in there, but you can get the idea. Look at that. So I think that's gonna look, look incredible. And we needed more orange on the, the orange anyway. on the bike anyway. Yeah, and we have blue titanium bolts to get to that will uh, go with those as well. So um, yeah, he said he's never Good. hand painted calipers before. Normally you get them, um, what is it called? Powder coated. Um, but actually my R8 calipers were hand painted and they've lasted perfect. I haven't had a single issue with they them. Have. Yeah. 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 They look very they good. look amazing. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, the orange, I mean, we could have we could have done blue, we could have done black, any of them would have looked good. Um, but I think just the all orange looks incredible. What do you think, Dotto? You like it like this? To be honest with you, I thought about the same thing. I'm like, we should, like if we got them powder coated, there's no way they're gonna match perfect. Look how nice that matches. It's literally the it's exact, the same color, it's yeah. Lamborghini orange, dude. Um, it's, are you like, doing mud I'm saying without, yeah, you can pull that out. Perfect. I'm saying without it filled yeah, in, it, it looks, doesn't matter. It looks fine. Yeah. It's either uh, yeah. this way, this looks clean. It's either yeah. this way or with black, but it's yeah. such a pain. You have to like, like inject uh, paint in here with like one of those like needles. And I've hope it that it sits correctly. And it's such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Cause you screw something up, like it's tough to like, mask it off and redo it. It's, yeah, it's he said it wasn't yeah. turning out well and he'd rather not. Yeah, this yeah. is fine. Uh, to me, this looks great and it's raised on both sides, so it still looks really good. I mean, you can still see the Brembo logo and I'm not one for logos anyway, so if, it, if I had a choice, I would rather do it like this than the other way. So um, that's the calipers, the hand-painted custom painted calipers. And then we're gonna do um, nothing special here, just front fork protection, black in there. We don't want Bam. anything too crazy, but that'll help with protection. Here are the titanium bolts. Here's the titanium bolts for the front and rear calipers. Look at these bad oh boys. God. Dude, Dotto. Holy oh, shit. Hey kids, don't skim out on your protection. <laughs> look at, dude, look at, look at that next that to this. Well, just put the whole bolt. Yeah, look. No, you don't. Stick it in the like, hole. Okay. Damn. Look at that. Okay. Look how dope that is. So there you go. Everyone who wanted blue. Have we done bolts no. this big on uh -uh. calipers I don't before? think so. Look at that. That is so badass, dude. I love. Yeah, that is sick. Like this. Yeah, me too. So we have ones for the front, ones for the back. So they're all in there, and they're gonna mm -hmm. help save some weight. And they look absolutely incredible. 
So those are the Proti bolts. Again, all of these uh, parts, aside from the stock calipers, come from uh, Manny at Moto Million. You can use my code Camp Peasy Gorgeous. to save yourself some money and support your boys. What else we got in mud there? Mud hugger. Mud hugger. Front carbon mud hugger. Look at that. So I, it's someone mentioned on the YouTube video. It's crazy to them that Ducati sells this bike for 32 grand and doesn't come with a carbon front mud hugger. I agree. I think that's ridiculous. What is that? I don't know. It's something that came in a box that I flip me over. So carbon mud hugger for the front. There's the other front caliper. And what else do we have? Are you doing these today if there's time? Are oh yeah, yeah, we will. And we have the carbon brake cooling ducts too. Yes. I think that's what those are. I think this is what this is. Those, dude. So the carbon brake cooling ducts sitting with I'm not sure which side it is with the painted hand painted calipers and the tie bolts are just gonna, gonna look, look deadly. insane. Yeah. So get ready. Quite a bit to, to do. Hopefully we can get to all of it today because we actually actually have to reassemble the calipers, which. Well, yeah, hopefully won't be too insane. insane. Yeah, so there you go. So I think that's I think that's everything. Is there anything else we were gonna do? What's this thing? I don't know. I actually don't know what that is. You know? No. I don't oh it's it's extra. That, uh, was the, that was the that was the piece, piece that didn't fit on the oh, other side. Okay. Yeah. So that's everything. So there you go. That's everything. I love these painted calibers. I'm so excited. Thank you, Tina Wieners. Now you can get off to editing your OnlyFans content. Yes, I actually do. Have All her spicy links are in the description below. All right, we laid everything out to take some photos. Look at how incredible that looks with the tie bolts in there. And people are like, this, the blue doesn't match and blah, blah, blah. Dude, it looks amazing. Get out of here. So dope. All right, so first thing we're going to do is actually replace the uh, front mud hugger. Um, because it's easier to run all these cables and stuff and connect everything up in there Especially like the um, sensor wire whenever the calipers aren't on so this will make it a lot easier So we figured that's probably the first thing we should do. So that's what we're doing right now. It's connected back here There's a little tiny. Is it like a Phillips head data? Yeah, it's just a 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt? Actually. But oh, it's a nut. Okay um, so we're gonna get that unhooked back here and then that sensor wire that runs through we're gonna take that out And you actually want to be really careful with this because if you pull on these sensor wires you can get ABS uh, Failures and um, it's a common problem with these so you want to be really careful when you're replacing these It seems like something that's really easy to do, but it's actually easy to screw up as well. All right Front mud guard coming off. There it is it's pretty clean. It looks <laughs> That actually fits you as a hat. That's what's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's how big his head is. You see when people like him. put like watermelon rock like things on like cats. It looks That's actually like a Tron helmet or something. Um, so this is what I was talking about. Why this, does the tire look so skinny now? It does, huh? <laughs> I think they're only like 120s in the front. Now we can put knobby something tires on. Like yeah, we can. Um, that's the sensor wire you want to be careful with right here. That connects to the phonic wheel there, or I guess uses the phonic wheel. Look at what they got going on to keep the wire. Yeah. So let's see how it, how do they did how do they do it on the uh, full six. So when you're running it through that in there, you got to be careful you don't pinch that too tight. It's a little bit different layout as mm -hmm. you can see from that to the stock. Let me see if I can to this one. Put them so you can kind of see it. It yeah, looks it's like longer. It's, it's longer, yeah. That's why you have to be careful because if you pull it tight from one side to the other, it's going to use more wiring. So we'll get that thing on and keep rocking and rolling. All right. New hugger going on. So is it going to be the same same thing where the brake line's attached in the back and you run the, the cabling through the mm -hmm. side? Okay. Everything's the same way. The only, the only thing that I can see that could be a potential issue, and we'll see once this is on, because these run longer, like in line, like the other ones ended like here and here, I think. You could always just not use the bottom or the first ones. Right, and they're epoxyed on, so it's yeah. not like I can. So if if you do that and you use these, just make sure it's out of the way of everything. Yeah. I'll be able to know once I get You don't want that getting caught up in the wheel. No. Look at the difference already. This front end setup is gonna look incredible when we get it all on. I've been waiting for this for so long. Feels like half a year. So have all of you guys. So you're gonna run it first through, right, and then put it on. Yeah, I can already kind of put it in the place. Gonna be yeah. an issue. Mm -hmm. So got to figure something out. Front fender is on. Looks incredible. I will make a note right here. Dado did not run this all the way up inside there because if you do, you can actually see how tight it is already. And if you move that wheel back and forth, 
it can pull on this line. So that's one thing um, I would say, I think because this is a different design from full six, I think that they should maybe, I don't know, change so that this can be routed all the way around. I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. You can barely see it, but it's a big deal if it gets pulled on, it doesn't work correctly. So just be careful if you're gonna install one of these that you don't pull on that line right there and make sure you test the bike moving the, the, um, the clip-ons, like, you know what I mean? So you can move the wheel back and forth and make sure it's not getting pulled because that will screw up your bike. Um, next is the calipers and he's gonna put it all back together. So he's putting the... The clip for the brake pads go in here. Okay. I just wanna make sure that I can do it without any issues. Without scratching the paint. Right, and then the pads, pads. sit in here. Yep. And then... And work. then we've got the spacers that will go on first and then uh, the brake cooling ducts mm -hmm. and then the caliper. And we have the banjo bolts and the crush washers to yep. go on as well. And we have new bleeders for this, but we're gonna save that for when we actually put do, bleed the lines because we still have to do all of the handlebar and control setups, uh, which are gonna include new um, reservoirs. So there's no point to even worry about that stuff yet. Okay, so we're reassembling the uh, calipers. <clears throat> Dotto is gonna put the brake pads in and he says he wants to add some grease to them. Yeah, so there, this is um, ceramic silicone brake component lubricant. You're supposed to put it on uh, sliding pins for the calipers, which this doesn't have, these are stationary. But we are gonna put them on the back of the brake pad. And a lot of people think that the squealing on brake pads comes from this material here, and which some of it might. But the vibration that's caused by this pad moving, or both all four pads moving or whatever, uh, the vibration is what causes the squealing. So when you put lubricant on the back oh, of it, it dampens that huh. and it causes it to run really quiet. And a lot okay. of people don't understand it. They're like, yeah, stick a bunch of, and you really need like a thin coat of it. Yeah. And that's all you need to put on. So that's what I'm going to do hey, right now. Hey, quiet down, man. Yeah, man. Put some of this on your lips. Okay. Uh, calipers are, or sorry, the pads are in the caliper. Everything's ready to go. Um, Dotto actually did clean some paint off of the uh, mating surface up there just to be safe. And then he grabbed new um, crush washers. Thank God he had some. You really don't want to reuse those unless you don't have any other option. And you grab the spacers. Okay. He was just grabbing the TWM brake caliper spacers. Two, two for each side. Mm -hmm. Now we can start to attach this stuff. Spread the calipers first. Got to be really careful with it. There's our first look. Look at that. And actually we got to get the carbon brake cooling ducts in there too. Forgot about those. Mm -hmm. I just need to get one of the bolts and just to. And then you can pull them back out. Dude, look at this setup. It's so nasty. Oh, it looks incredible. Look Damn. That. Look at that. Now it looks right with the winglets. Mm hmm. And especially with the uh, carbon front fender, too. That's incredible. Now he's got everything in place. He can throw the first one in. And everyone always thinks that we put these things on upside down. There's only one way that they go on the bike, and it is this way. They're labeled right in That's left. why the bottom is flat, and this is round for the fork. Yep. The only minor adjustment... So fork you, you guys. Yeah, fork you. The only thing you might have to make a minor adjustment on some of these, you might have to bend this in or out to clear this bottom tube. There's a lot of different configurations as far as... Bikes and tube yeah. placements and how far and they are. And this is wider, so if you compress yeah. this the whole way down, it may hit here. Yeah. Something we On the Monster, we trimmed it. Yeah. yeah, and this is really close too on this. Yeah. We're just gonna have to keep we'll an eye on it. We'll ride it and keep an eye on it. We'll smash it a Look couple times. Look at that, times. though. Holy crap, dude. I'm so hyped for this. Um, also, these titanium bolts did come with titanium antices. So we're just basically coating the bolt in that, and then we'll um, wipe away the excess there. He's gonna do the top one then too. He just wanted to get the, the bottom one in first, and then we'll repeat that on the top. But Jesus, this looks incredible. All right, we got the calipers on and torqued down. Looks absolutely incredible. Next, we're gonna do the uh, banjo bolt. The right side is a double banjo, so it has two brake lines because there's a brake line that comes down to this caliper. And goes over the other goes, one. And there's a single one on the other side. You can mm -hmm. see the difference here. So this one has three crush washers. We slide the first one on, goes through here. We slide the second one on to crush between the lines and seal. That goes here. This seems so complicated. Then it goes through here. Jeez. And then we get the third one. Oh my god. <laughs> and then it goes into the caliper. Really? So it only gets a little bit of thread, huh? Right, that's it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a decent bit. Yeah. Um, I've actually experienced a good bit of calipers. Well, when you're doing complete new brake setups, I've actually ex Setup. experienced leaks. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on especially it. Especially if you have more than one banjo. Yeah. 
but with having new um, crush washers, we should be good to go, so. Look at that, guys. The caliper, the bolts, the brake cooling ducts, and the fender are on the right-hand side. And Jesus, does that make, I really think that ties the whole bike together somehow, freaking caliper. And wait until the rear one's on as well. And we have the axle sliders. Oh man, this bike's gonna look incredible. So we're just gonna repeat the process, do it on the other side. And then we'll put the axle sliders on and we'll see where we're at. All right, left-hand side caliper is on. Banjo bolt is tightened down. Look at that guy. That just looks absolutely incredible. When Dotto was putting this all together, he's like, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> this is probably the most over the impressive top. Impressive over the top. Yeah. Setup. High high caliber. Like from here to here. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The nicest setup we've done so Carbon far. Carbon wheels, T drive rotors, titanium bolts everywhere, custom painted calipers, brake cooling ducts, you know? It's insane. That is absolutely insane. And we're not done yet. We still have the uh, axle sliders. And what I'm thinking is, because this took longer than, than I thought it would, reassembling all the, all the calipers and everything like that. I didn't show all of it. Um, I'm thinking next video, what we do is we do the rear caliper and then we, and then we bleed the whole thing because people have been asking me about bleeding brakes and all that. And this is gonna be a bitch because there's gonna be a lot of air in the system. So this might be a, that might be a good kind of like how to bleed your brakes, you know? What do you think? And then have some whiskey afterwards and cigar. Um, back got me a whiskey and cigars. Uh-huh. We could do a little hangout Q&A at the end or something Ooh, like that. We should do a live stream. We have Oh, we could do that. Yeah. So we long. could do that. I would be down for that for sure. So, yeah, maybe we'll film the video first and then we'll go live after and hang out. You want to do that? Yeah, we could do that. Okay. If you guys want to see a live stream, comment down in the comment section below. Let us know. If we get enough votes, we'll do it. If, so. Yeah, well, next comments, right? I'm in not putting up a poll. No, I mean like Enough people saying, yeah, I yeah, want do to a live it, stream. or no, yeah. you guys suck. Yeah, probably both. A little bit of both. Okay, hey. So that's what I'm thinking. So I attach this side. Okay. That goes in here. They are different. Um, it's side specific. Oh, okay, yeah, because one goes in and one goes over. Is that what it is? No, one go. they both go in, but one's smaller. Oh, one. okay. God, look at this. Jeez. For me, axle sliders is just like kind of the cherry on top of the, on, of the wheel because this is just open, it looks weird. Um, and it also provides pr protection as well. See, it does go over, it slides over that. Oh, I see what you, it goes yeah. in and over. I know, over. it goes in and over, yeah. So we're just gonna tighten those down, and then. Are they um, to your liking as far as? How the wording is? Okay. I don't care. Whatever you wanna, however it's you wanna do. You wreck, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Duke a bike, I mean, it's in a circle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. God, dude, this Hopefully bike the... is insane. I'm putting the Duca bike at 12 o'clock. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so I think that's it. This is a good place to stop. We're actually gonna be filming tomorrow anyway, so tomorrow we can do the rear caliper um, and pretty much attach it completely, and then we can bleed the entire system, which is gonna be a bitch. We don't even have brake fluid in this yet, so that'll be, there's a lot of air in the system, so we gotta do that. Oh, and that reminds me, I wanna get a new oil uh, cap for this too. So I gotta go online and look that up. Um, yeah, and we'll bleed the front and rear calipers. And I realized whenever we do these, all we have to do is suck this out and replace it. So there'll be a little bit of bleeding, but it's nothing insane. The majority of the work will be done. And then I'm thinking maybe we'll go live after that too. Um, but I realized now that video is gonna probably be filmed before we even look at comments. So I think we're just gonna assume that you guys would wanna see us live and probably just go live if we have time to do it. So that's it for today's video. Um, we did the custom painted calipers, the brake cooling ducts, the titanium bolts, the axle sliders, and the front um, fender in carbon fiber. And man, does that look incredible. I think that's the best brake and front wheel setup we've ever done. Look, dude, look at it. Just look at that, right there. You know what the crazy thing is? It looks like somebody designed it it's like a it looks like something that came out of production like a high-end it production does. bike yeah with everything fitting so perfect oh I wish they could God. see this in person I yeah. really do well like I said we're gonna do the giveaway at Warhorse of Camp Hill so stay on the lookout for that um, if you want to be entered to win this bike patreon.com slash camp PZ customs is always the first link in the description below if you need parts for your motorcycle motomillion.com use my code camp PZ or code dotto made to get parts for your bike and that's gonna do it for this one so if you guys enjoyed this episode Give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.